Sea level is rising and will continue to rise for decades, perhaps longer. I'm working with Indonesian scientists and students and students from here at Davis on restoring seagrass beds. Seagrass is a marine plant. It flowers like land plants do, and it's really important for people. Seagrass forms extensive meadows in shallow waters, and seagrass has roots that go deep into the sediment, and those roots basically anchor the sediment. Seagrass acts as a living shoreline because it stabilizes the coastline and protects the shore from storm damage. Another important function of seagrass is it provides the habitat and food for a lot of other organisms, including fish and clams and shrimp, and also endangered species like seahorses and sea turtles, manatees, dugongs, and even sharks. Indonesians depend on seagrasses and fish for the majority of their protein. So our project is to develop methods to restore or rehabilitate seagrass beds that have been damaged. And we found that by replanting the seagrass, we can lead to its rehabilitation, if not completely restoring the ecosystem. Our project involves a collaboration with about 20 Indonesian students each year and about 20 students from the University of California at Davis. We've been working together for about five years. Seagrass is really important because it captures carbon from the ocean and it stores that carbon in the sediment and that means the carbon gets locked away. We think that this is one of the most important roles for seagrass these days as the climate is changing, the oceans are warming. I think the most important part of our collaboration is not just learning to do good experiments, but having students, young students, work together across cultural, language, national differences. So Indonesians and Americans are working together to restore a really important habitat. By training young students to work together globally, there'll be a multiplier effect. These tiny steps will just go like a ripple on the ocean and spread globally. It's these small efforts and these collaborations that multiply across the globe that are all that's necessary to help us start dealing with climate change.